Welcome to my class student. It's class 6 English Grammar. We are doing chapter 6 that is subject verb agreement and today we are doing preparatory plus placing subject plus verb. See there are so many things in the slide. First is the subject verb agreement as in the first session you have done all the rules. In the second session you have done the rules related to present and past tense. Now this time preparatory placing subject plus verb. And this is session 3. Chapter 6, session 3. Now let's start. Words placement in sentences. These can cause subject verb agreement confusion. As you know I ended the first introductory slide at this point. This is the confusion. So, word placement in sentences. If you sometimes, if you just don't uh, recall the rule, so you just arrange the subjects. Just suppose if you are little bit doubtful about the rules, then do one thing, just make arrangement in the subject. You place it, the words in a way, so that it seems correct, right? Now, which are the combination, they are composition which create confusion? First is compound subjects, where they are compound subjects, two subjects. Then group noun subjects, plural form but singular meaning subjects. And indefinite subjects. So in this slide, in this session, we will clear all these doubts. Now, subject verb agreement problems that can result from word, word placement in sentence. Word placement in sentences. And how it results, how it comes, the problems, how it comes. If you arrange in a way... So you will get that difficulty. For example, four main problematic this subjects is there. Prepositional phrase. In the prepositional phrases, you will get confusion. In the clauses, beginning with who or that or which. Sentences beginning with here or there and questions. Right? So these are the things. In the word placement in sentences, according to prepositional phrases, clauses begin with who or that or which and sentences begin with there and here and questions, the confusion starts. So you know the rules everything. You understand everything. Now in this session, you will learn how to clear the confusion. Now next a prepositional phrase may be placed between the subject and verb. See, prepositional phrase when it is between the subject and verb. Between the subject and verb. The boy at the door is my cousin. Now, the boy, the door. Two subjects but at the door is a prepositional phrase but your subject is the boy. So verb is singular. Prepositional phrase may be placed between the subject and verb at the door. Sometimes a prepositional phrase inserted between the subject and verb makes agreement more difficult. For example, a car with many riders. This is a prepositional phrase. A car with many riders. So what will be the verb? Verb will be the according to car. That is was singular. Subject is singular. So verb is also singular. A car with many riders was speeding around the curb. You know rules are there. Follow the rules. If it is related to the subject, if whether then 
if it is not a part of the subject if it is not related with the subject then the singular form according to the rule and if the plural is there then plural form plural verb in this way you need to apply the rules again and again and find a real or true subject now solution to the prepositional phrase problem as you know problems are there solutions are also there learn the major preposition what are the major preposition be alert for prepositional phrases placed between the subject and verb and identify the noun in the phrase immediately as the object of a preposition when you understand the noun as the object of the preposition you can find that that is an object that can never be a subject understood so an object of a preposition can never be a sentence subject always remember if you understand if you find the noun as the object of the preposition phrase prepositional phrase immediately you will have to understand the yes this is not a sentence subject and your verb is according to the sentence subject understood this is very important now next locate the true sentence subject all the time you need to understand which one is the true subject and choose the verb which agrees with it if the true subject is singular then verb is singular if the true subject is plural then the verb is plural but you need to find the true subject a clause beginning with who that or which and coming between the subject and verb can cause agreement problems now this is the second type of thing a clause beginning with who that or which and coming between the subject and verb can cause for example and but the but the uh, very uh, soothing part of this is that that uh, like the prepositional phrase the who that which clause also never contains the subject that if any clause is beginning with who that which or any any object is there any noun is there so understood that is an object that is that is not a sentence subject so this is a very understanding and very relaxing part of this like the prepositional phrase the clauses who that which clause never contain the subject so that is not the sentence subject for example a dog that is loyal a dog that is loyal deserves love of the owner so dog deserves this is subject this is Wow. dogs that eat crunches dog subject live wow. plural with plural singular with singular that is loyal not no no subject is there in that clause no subject is there in this that is loyal that eat crunches understood so you can understand the true subject now to avoid subject agreement errors identify who that which clauses immediately locate the true sen sentence subject and choose a verb that agrees with it as it is written in the earlier slide also when a sentence begins with there is there are or here is here are the subject and verb are inverted the inverted that is opposite the verb in such construction is obviously the verb is according to the subject is or are but the subject does not come before the verb the subject does not come before the verb because there are many girls remember rules here and there instead the subject in this kind of sentence comes after the verb and you will have to look after the verb for example see there is a girl 
waiting there is a girl waiting so is a girl so subject is after the verb not before the verb here are the people whom i have invited here are the people whom i have invited here are the students here are the students i have i have called right see i can write here i have called here are the students i have called so the subject is after the verb now instead the subject in this kind comes after the verb so you must look for it after the verb there is a book on the table see the is verb is earlier a book subject is after the verb there are students are verb students subject look for the subject after the verb and choose a singular or a plural so if i give you a sentence like if there is see there fill in the blanks a book so what you need to write is a book because according to the subject your verb is understood so if in the fill in the blanks also if this portion is not given verb is not given only the subject is given so you will have to put the verb according to the subject and finally sometimes creating a question will cause subject follow the verb as well here identify the subject and then choose the verb that agrees with it singular or plural for example do you like study do you like study here you see with you and i that rule doesn't apply with subject and verb so you is here here does he play so if this is not given he plays given so you need to write does so this is also a little confusing but if you know the rules if you know the subject and verb agreement then you can correct it and you can write it correctly what is the problem say after that a verb is earlier a problem is subject is after where are your parents verb is here parents subject how may how much sugo is added to water say sugo is added to water how many people are interested so with the question you are saying sometimes it is confusing but if you know how to frame questions it will become easier for you <clears throat> so what have we learned we have learned the arrangement of the subject and verb so that we can avoid the mistakes the errors and we won't get confused all the confusions are cleared in this session so whatever the confusion do you have in your mind while doing this subject verb agreement go through this slide understand this and then correct yourself by reading a lot of english books english articles whatever you find in english you will see the correct rules and all the rules now you know so understand that and then avoid mistakes in the next class i will come with some new grammatical lessons till then go through the slide go through it again and again learn the rules apply the rules and revise it till then have a good day thank you